For years, we've been told one thing about high blood pressure, watch out for salt. And while that's true, it's only half of the story. There's a hidden hero in our food that most of us are missing, one that could be a game changer for your health. Today, we uncover the real story, sodium versus potassium. First, the villain of our story, sodium, the main component of salt. Imagine sodium is a tiny sponge inside your body. When you eat lots of salty processed foods, you're filling your system with these sponges and they do what sponges do best. They soak up and hold on to water. All that extra water increases the volume of blood in your vessels. It's like overinflating a tire. It creates pressure, but now it's time to meet the hero, potassium. Potassium is the good guy. Its main job is to fight those sodium sponges. It signals your body to flush out extra sodium and water. Potassium does something else amazing too. It helps the walls of your blood vessels relax. When they're not so tense, your blood pressure naturally goes down. So the big secret isn't just about cutting salt. It's about getting the balance. Most modern diets are high in sodium and low in potassium, leaving our bodies unbalanced. So how do we do that? Here's your simple two-step action plan. Step one, gently lower the sodium. Focus on reducing ultra-processed foods, things like frozen dinners, canned soups, deli meats, and many packaged snacks are loaded with sodium. Cooking fresh meals at home is your superpower for controlling salt. Step two, seriously boost the potassium. This is where you can make a huge difference. Aiming for the recommended 3,500 to 4,700 milligrams of potassium a day is ideal, and you can get there with delicious food. For example, just one medium potato or sweet potato can provide over 900 milligrams of potassium. That's almost a quarter of your daily need in one go. A single medium banana gives you over 400 milligrams. Having one a day is a great start. Half of an avocado packs around 500 milligrams. Add it to your toast or salad. What about greens? Just one cup of cooked spinach contains over 800 milligrams. Try adding half a cup of beans or lentils to a meal. That gives you another 300 to 400 milligrams. And if you eat fish, a six ounce fillet of salmon a couple of times a week not only provides heart healthy fats, but also adds about 600 milligrams of potassium each time. The real story isn't just about avoiding something, it's about intentionally adding more of the good stuff. To recap, sodium holds water and raises blood pressure. Potassium flushes sodium and lowers it. The goal is to bring them into balance by eating more whole potassium rich foods every single day. We hope this video helps you on your health journey. Subscribe to the Paramed channel for more expert backed tips.